morning, everyone. Uh, first, I'd like to say I can sympathize with Malcolm saying he had to speak immediately after Bill Clinton. But he's never had to speak immediately after Malcolm Gladwell. So I think this will be a challenge. Uh, but to be clear, I won't be as good as Malcolm. But I'll do my best, and I do have some thoughts to, to share with you. I'm the president of, of Hamilton Sunstrand, and we're part of United Technologies Corporation. We're about a $6 billion division of UTC. We're an aerospace company, and we're also innovators. Now, I have an idea. Over the last 100 years, there's been tremendous innovation in aerospace. What if the rich history of aerospace can provide a roadmap on how to innovate? A little bit of background first. If you flew to Orlando to get to this conference, Hamilton Sunstrand was along for the ride. We build advanced equipment for the world's aircraft and engine manufacturers. From air conditioning systems to electric power generation, from flight controls to propellers, we don't make airplanes, but we make a lot of the advanced equipment that enables modern aircraft to fly. What I want to talk about today is how that roadmap in innovation can be used in other industries. And we have many examples to, uh, to show that. Hamilton Sunstrand has not only worked on airplanes, but has also been a leader in the space program. We've uh, built the spacesuit for the United States since the Apollo program. And in Apollo 13, when Jim Lovell said, Houston, we have a problem, those guys in the white shirts and pocket protectors who were scrambling to save the crippled spacecraft were Hamilton Sunstrand engineers. Hamilton Sunstrand has a rich history of aerospace first and a proud legacy of innovation. I'd like to share just a brief video that shows the history of aerospace. So every aircraft that was uh, shown in that video has uh, multiple Hamilton Sunstrand products. And you can see that Hamilton Sunstrand has been privileged to be involved in many aerospace firsts. From the propeller on the Spirit of St. Louis to the electric power system on the new Boeing 787 aircraft. From its earliest days, aerospace has been an industry driven by innovation but it's also an industry that enables innovation. 
New York to Singapore nonstop flights, fighter jets flying over Tripoli, the GPS system on your iPad. Aerospace has helped to shape the modern world. As a supplier to all the major aerospace companies around the world, Hamilton Sunstrand has had a unique front row view to innovation over the last 90 years. And during this period of time, we've really looked at four major periods in innovation. The first was the age of inspiration. You've heard of the Wright brothers, and you've heard of Charles Lindbergh, great aerospace pioneers. But working right alongside them was Thomas Hamilton. Hamilton was one of our namesake founders. Hamilton manufactured propellers during the First World War. Now at the time, propellers were made out of wood. Now even with the best laminating technology, there comes a limit to how fast you can spin a wooden propeller. At a certain point, the whole thing just disintegrates. And that's not a very pleasant experience, particularly if you're up in the air at the time. During this period, aluminum, aluminum alloys came into being, and soon Hamilton was making all metal propeller blades. This story illustrates one of the most basic forms of innovation, the entrepreneur, the inventor. During this period of time, innovation was driven by inspiration. Many people believe that's how innovation always happens, that there's a eureka moment. Now, inspiration is an important part of innovation, especially for a young industry, but it's not always sufficient. Soon, the talents of Hamilton Sunstrand employees and thousands of others around the world were called to another purpose. As the Second World War broke out, both the Axis and the Allies began to marshal their manufacturing capacity for the war. In aerospace, this was the age of industrialization. Now, many people believe that uh, industrialization isn't important, but if you can't manufacture the products, then you really can't deliver on the promise of innovation. New assembly lines, motion studies, and logistics principles were applied to maximize production. Sprawling new aircraft factories sprung up in Seattle and Southern California. Hamilton Sunstrand manufactured over half a million propellers during the war. It was not enough to invent the product. It had to be deployed. The unprecedented ramp up in wartime production so soon tilted the balance in favor of the Allies. During this period of time, innovation was driven by industrialization. As the Second World War ended and the space age began, it was a new era. This was the age of technology. The period produced satellites, supersonic aircraft, and commercial jetliners. Advances in material science and computing enabled Hamilton Sunstrand to develop the spacesuit and for America to reach for the moon. Aerospace industry advances in microprocessors, sensors, software were an important element in helping to win the Cold War. During this period, innovation was driven by technology. And for a time, it seemed as though technology would be enough, a way to conquer new frontiers, a way to drive economic growth. But once again, the world was changing. It was getting smaller. Things were moving faster. People wanted to be connected. Air travel became a form of mass transit. In aerospace today is the age of collaboration. Hamilton Sunstrand developed the electric power system for the Boeing 737 and the Airbus A320. And these are now the workhorses of the global air fleet. And today, we're working with Boeing, we're working with our partners, including HCL, to develop systems for the Boeing 787, one of the world's newest and most advanced aircraft. 
Over the course of the 787 development program, we met more than 30,000 unique customer requirements. We wrote and validated over 2 million lines of software code. And in the process, we filed over 300 patents. I mean, this could not have been accomplished without solid cooperation between Boeing, our partners, and Hamilton Sunstrand engineering teams all around the world. During this period, innovation is driven by collaboration. I believe that the rich history of aerospace is a great case study for innovation. As the world wrestles with daunting problems and developed economies struggle to grow, the aerospace industry and the history provide a roadmap for the future. The most successful organizations will be those who can employ all four forms of innovation. Inspiration, industrialization, technology, and collaboration. The insight and passion of the inventor and entrepreneur, we need inspiration. A strong manufacturing footprint to achieve sustainable economic growth, we need industrialization. There is great power in science and new ideas. We need technology. And the most innovative organizations will be those who can share information and leverage talent regardless of where it resides around the world. We need collaboration. Can developed countries innovate? Can we grow? I'm optimistic for the future particularly in the aerospace industry. We can solve our daunting problems and we can drive economic growth as long as we continue to foster inspiration, industrialization, technology, and collaboration. I see United Technologies and Hamilton Sunstrand pushing ahead on all four fronts every day. And I see it throughout the aerospace industry. In aerospace, we will continue to take on new challenges and seek out new frontiers. We will continue to bring people closer together, and we will continue to drive innovation all around the world. Thank you very much.